Hi, I'm Tom Lucy. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Hello, Tom Lucy. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here on the Sarah O'Connell Show today. How are you? Uh, Very well, thank you, Sarah. How are you? Pretty good, thank you very much for asking. Now, Tom, tell me, you are 21? Yes, I am 21. I I ID everyone that comes on the show. Yeah. But no, the reason I ask you that is because you're a comedian and you're doing incredibly well for yourself. Um, Thank you, Sarah. Mm Mm-hmm. You're very welcome. You've supported some incredible acts um, other than yourself as well, including Jack Whitehall. How on earth did you manage to do that? (laughs) Well, um, I guess, how long have I known Jack for? Maybe about two years. I think I met him when I was 19 at a gig just around the corner from here, the comedy store. And then he, he watched me and liked my stuff and then we just sort of became friends. And then when he went on tour this year, he just asked me if I wanted to come and do the warm up. So we were on tour for like three months, two, three months together. And it was amazing. Yeah, we started in theatres and then we ended in arenas. So it was pretty nuts to be doing that. It was like 15, 16,000 people in a night. It's pretty weird. They're, they're weird, those big gigs, because they feel like. Um, just standing in front of that many people, it doesn't, it feels a bit like a rally. You start to feel like a bit insane. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know like those old video black and white films of Hitler at Nuremberg? Not that I was spouting things in German. So you weren't initially just tempted to start a massive war. Absolutely. That's what happens when you've got a huge audience. You initially go into war mode. Yeah, you feel like you should start shouting yeah. something, uh, I don't know, derogatory. But I didn't do that. I think you would have heard about it if I had done that. Yeah, it was amazing though. Yeah, it was really fun. For three, three, we, did, we did that for three months and then, yeah, it's on Netflix now, which is cool. Oh, wow, so, so your, your performance is on Netflix? <laughs> the, show, the show is on Netflix. I should have clarified that. That's the I, main event. I've been cut out of it, which is disappointing. But would you would you go around to people and sort of do a pre-show thing at their house? Yeah, so what I've said is that everyone who watches his show on Netflix, I will come to their house and do 20 minutes before to a lukewarm response <laughs> and then shout something in German and get handled off by security just so that they know what it was like every night on the tour because that's what it was like. That sounds incredible. I'm going to yeah, do that. It's a pretty good service we offer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's time-consuming. So do some name dropping for me. Who else have you supported? Kevin Bridges, who else? Yep, um, Kevin Bridges. I was just in Dubai with Kevin last week. Now you're location dropping as well. This is doubly impressive. I've travelled. I'm in Reading tomorrow. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I went to Dubai with Kevin last week and we did uh, the World Trade Centre. Not that one, the other one. And uh, it was amazing, yeah. We did one night there. Um, sort of quite a few thousand people mad weird place Dubai have you been to Dubai? I haven't yet no No, it's a weird place it's very tense I've never performed under such tense conditions we had a meeting the night before with someone from the like police who told us what we can and can't say and if you say something you're not allowed to you pretty much get arrested so the gig there's like police at the gig and (laughs) you're just constantly looking into the wings after every joke thinking, am I about to get tackled off or some sort of dart in my head? But it was fine. I couldn't do my German stuff from Jack's tour. <laughs> no, it's always a shame. It is a shame, yeah. But it was amazing, it was really fun. So we did that and then uh, I've done, I've supported Michael McIntyre, just round the corner from here, the Duchess Theatre. It was fun. Uh, who else? Rob Beckett, Shappy Corsandi, Romesh. Ranganathan, some cool people, yeah. Tom Allen. Tom Allen, yeah. Re- more recently, did Tom Allen? He's great. Tom Allen's coming on the Sarah Connell show very soon, yeah. When's Tom coming on? Um, so in about two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, good. You've had all the Toms on the show. That's basically Tom what Cruise. I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, three big Toms, aren't they? Tom Cruise, Tom Allen, Tom Lucy. Tom Cat. Tom Cat. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Tom Cat? kind of cat it's Tom Cat oh Tom Cat sorry <laughs> Tomahawk 
I said this would happen. You're much funnier than me. Very sorry. Yeah, it's a shame. You should su support me. I should support you. When are you touring? Quite a bit today, actually. I'm filming three shows today, so I'm technically on tour. You should do a live Sarah O'Connell show. Well, rumour has it I'm considering such a very thing. Really? Rumour has it? Well, I'd love to be considered for support. <laughs> This is what we should do. Yeah, we should do like a live actual show yeah. with like a full on warm up acts and all that kind of thing. Because, because I mean, this this isn't live right now. This is pre recorded. Yeah, this is not for anyone watching. This is not live streamed. Even when we're doing it, it's not live. No, I'm I'm in LA at the moment and Sarah's in London. I'm buffering. <laughs> exactly. No, I'd love to do that. So um, you've very recently been on Chris Ramsey's stand-up central on Comedy Central. Yeah, I have, yeah, uh, last week. That was my first uh, TV uh, appearance. Yeah, I did a five-minute stand-up set on that, which we filmed back in uh, May. So it feels like a while ago, but it looked good. I don't really like watching myself perform. I think it's quite, it'd be quite weird if you did like watching yourself, I think. But uh, I've heard that it looks good, so yeah, yeah, it was fun. You need to watch this interview later, just so I can get the view count up. I will watch this interview. I will definitely. I'll watch this interview multiple times. Or we'll just leave it playing on a computer on loop. That works. Well, what I might do, I was thinking, if you're okay with this, I might put some TVs up in my house, like Dixon's, just lots of TVs, and just constantly have it playing on every screen. You know, like in gyms where they've got music channels. I just do that in my house, but with this interview. That sounds incredible. Does that sound okay? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's good. good. Yeah. Well, I might, might, might play all of your interviews on different channels, on different screens. This sounds like my house. <laughs> is that what your house is like? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I will do that. Yeah. I only watch them back after I posted them online. I don't check them first. They're probably okay. They'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be great. You're also a writer on Michael McIntyre's big show. How on earth did you end up getting involved with that? <laughs> well, um, I'm not... I did some writing on it. So he... Uh, so I did that support for him at the Duchess Theatre in January this year. And then uh, it was very weird. It's very weird for me, all that stuff, because he's like a massive uh, hero of mine. He's like a big reason why I started doing... Uh, stand up really? so yeah really really big reason so that was really weird to support him and then um, in like September I had a, a text from my uh, manager saying Michael McIntyre's going to phone you in about five minutes and I was running and I was like well I've got to sit down because I don't want to be out of breath when he calls so I sat on this bench in the park and then five minutes when he hadn't called, ten minutes, fifty, he hadn't called. So I was like, he's probably not going to call. So I started running again. And then he called, and I was, like, panting down the phone like I'd been running from the police. And he just started, it was really bizarre, started singing down the phone. There's only one Tom Lucy, there's only one Tom... It was just really, like, like I, like I felt like an acid trip or something. Um, yeah, and then he said he was filming his new show, the big show. Do I, would I want to come and do some, some writing for him? So we did that, yeah, it was amazing. It's very surreal for me. That's probably the thing I've done that's the most surreal. Because he's a, yeah, he's a, I think he's great. He's like probably one of my favourite comedians. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, um, you have recently made your Edinburgh Fringe debut. Yeah. Tell me things about that. Tell you things about that. Yeah, it was good. It was uh, in August this year. Yeah, it's quite a scary thing. Have you been to Edinburgh? I've been to Edinburgh, but I've not been to the Fringe. Right, okay. Um, yeah, it's quite scary when you do your first hour. It's a long time to speak, Sarah, an hour on your own. It feels indulgent. I think an hour's too long of anyone. Yeah, even if I'm really enjoying it, an hour's too long. Um, apart from if it's the Sarah O'Connell show, in which case you just keep going for as long as you want. Um, Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, but it was really fun. Yeah, the shows went really well. People came, laughed. Yeah, it was great. It was really did, did the show have a name? The show did have a name. What was the name? The name of the show was Tom Lucy Needs to Stop Showing Off in Front of His Friends. It's quite a long name, uh, a long name. which I regret doing. I think when I do it next year, I'll do a shorter name. 
just because you do just, just Tom needs to stop showing off yeah yeah and just get rid of the friends at the end because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost most of those um <laughs> yeah <laughs> so okay, I'm so sorry to hear that don't be sorry it's fine I found Sarah Connor now so it's all good hello <laughs> it's you <laughs> Yeah, um, no, it was really fun. Yeah, it, went, it was fun. And we're going to come and do it at the Soho Theatre next uh, spring. We haven't got any dates yet, but we will come and do it. Soho Theatre, so that'll be good. Yeah. That's very exciting, so I'm going to have to come and check that out. I love the Soho Theatre. So, yeah, I'm going to have to come and visit. Yeah, no, do come, yeah. Do. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you some tickets. I love tickets. Good. How many do you want? All of them. All of them? Just, But you're just going to come on your own? Yeah, I'm just going to sell the tickets. You get me the tickets. What, like touting? I can't let you ticket tout. Why? Well, it's illegal, isn't it? What? Not if you give me the tickets. Well, I think I that's fine. The tickets. Yeah. But you're going to sell them or give them away? Yes. Is that, that's fine, yeah? yeah? Yeah, you do what you want. <laughs> I'll give you all the tickets that's and you, right. you sell them. Yeah, that'd be good. And I'll be like, good news, I've sold all the tickets. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> it's just you every night. It'll be like this, basically. It will be this. We'll just do it in this uh, cinema foyer. We could do this on the stage. That's what I was saying, live Sarah O'Connell show. I'll, uh, that means I've hijacked your show. That doesn't mean that. We call it Tom Lucy and Sarah O'Connell need to stop showing off in front of their friends. That has greatly reduced the title. I think That's, that will work. That will work, won't it? Yeah. PR-wise. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get my people to contact your people and then we can we can make this happen. We just need to tip X my name onto the poster. Sure, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Speak to my mum. She's in charge of posters. My mum's in charge of tip X, so this is perfect. Brilliant. Yeah, all the mums are involved. Yep. Tom Lucy and Sarah O'Connell and their mums need to stop showing in front of their friends. Does that sound good? Sounds really good. Let's make this happen. Good. So, what... <laughs> so, what have you got coming up for... The <laughs> For the rest of the decade. For the rest of the day, did you say? Oh, no, decade. Oh, decade. Oh, right. Um, wow. Well, it's going to be... A, well, uh, the ne- rest of the decade, what will I be doing? Probably more comedy, really. I would hope, yeah. Just do more comedy. I'd like to get married at some point. Maybe In the next decade. So everyone pay attention. Tom wants to get married in the next decade. The clock is ticking. This is not the reason we're doing this video. This is your dating profile video, isn't it? Is it? it? Okay. Yeah. I enjoy swimming and socialising with friends. Would like to meet someone. Good sense of humour. Yeah. Good sense of humour. Um, available. Yeah, I'm not fussy. You're quite, you need them to be available. That's quite fussy. I need them to be available. Yeah. I'd like them to be available. Constantly. <laughs> I'd like them to be constantly available. Yeah. It's not too much to ask, is it? If I want someone to just drop what they're doing and come they, they should be able to do that exactly so are you writing um so you're you're working on um your current tour at the minute which is really exciting um it's going to be at the Soho theater are you thinking about your next show already yeah i am yeah so i'm gonna do edinburgh probably again next year so i've been writing um new material for that i think i've probably got i don't know about 15 minutes or something of new stuff um, and also the annoying well it's not really annoying but the thing about that stand up central TV thing is that everything I did on that I now have to stop doing because it's now been filmed so which is annoying because that's obviously was my best stuff because I wanted to do well so that's gone so the future looks bleak Sarah to be honest I've lost everything well you know some comedians do do best of shows so that could work It'd be a weird thing to do for a first show, though, wouldn't it? Best of. But the no first one. one should be Greatest Hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is sort of what it is. Your first Edinburgh show is basically, like, everything you've done in an hour. So that, that my show was just, of the four years I've been doing comedy, was just all the material I'd done, just sort of, like, wedged into an hour. Because, you know, Lee Evans is still doing Bohemian Rhapsody. I've inadvertently seen that live three times by accident. By accident? Yeah, in completely different years. Yeah, he does it, doesn't he? Fin- he did finish most of his shows like that, didn't yeah. he? He's he finishes re- most days with that. <laughs> he finishes all human interaction with. Uh, they will not let him go. No, no. Let him go. <laughs> it's great, though. I miss Lee Evans. 
I wish he'd come back. He's retired now. Is he actually retired? Yeah, yeah. Oh. He's been retired for about three years, I think. And he said he wasn't going to come back. So I hope he does. Yeah, let's hope. Let's beckon maybe, him back. Maybe he'll come back for the live Sarah O'Connell podcast. That would be really naughty. If I've gone to the effort of typing the word live, then... <laughs> he should come back for that. He should come back for that, yeah. Can you explain to people where we are? Or where we are. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I can, can absolutely explain where we are. So we are downstairs in the bar of the Prince Charles Cinema. They've kindly let me yeah. and uh, us film in here today. It's, nice, it's very nice. And there's lots of stuff there Writing written, on the wall. writings on the wall. That work, I have a joke about looking like Sam Smith, and he's got a song called Writings on the Wall. Really? It all sort of fits, doesn't it? It basically all does fit. It's like we've planned this. But so you look like Sam Smith, but do you sound like Sam Smith, or who do you sound like? <laughs> well, um, I ha well the joke that I started this stand-up central thing was is that I look like Sam Smith and sound like Frank Spencer. Is that what you're referring to? There you go. See, this we this is now a greatest hits tour. You're now you've <laughs> bought it, you've resurrected it. Yeah, I mean that is basically the the yeah the beginning of the show. So if you want. 59 more minutes of that with special guest Sarah O'Connell hello at the end come to the show I'm not actually here I'm actually FaceTiming at the moment so are you? okay you're like a hologram thanks <laughs> I meant that in the nicest possible I'm way. putting that on my CV like a hologram yeah put that on the poster for the live show I will okay <laughs> <laughs> what are your social media channels? What are my social media channels? I'm on everything, Sarah. Tin t Tinder, that's the big one. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, eBay. eBay. Yeah, I'm selling an old dishwasher on eBay. If you're interested in that. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want that? I think you're gonna clean up with that one. Huge, huge from O'Connell. <laughs> um, um, what else am I on? That's it, really. Follow me on that. You on everything? Yeah, I'm on Coca-Cola, <laughs> <laughs> lemonade, I'm on a yeah. packet of cheesy what's it? Yeah. All of it, I'm doing all of it. You're on probation, you're on everything. I'm on a stool. You're on a stool, it's all going well. So finally, have you got any messages for your fans and people watching the Sarah O'Connell show? Keep watching the Sarah O'Connell show. It's a hell of a channel and I'm a big fan of Sarah and the channel and YouTube. Thank you very much. So thank you for watching today and for being on the Sarah O'Connell Show. Be sure to share, subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell Show. Bye. Bye.